then you can export this 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 file as JSON uh, open layer you can visualize open layer you can KML keyhole markup GML Google markup language and then so on so forth so what we have we have many services WFS services and if you select the the WFS and then you can if you export the services you see the you export functionalities there so you have done some data you have exported uh, how many records you have uh, in the, you see the total features too I have uh, records into the U database uh, post GIS database call the the service and see you expose this data as a geojson format this is the your base URL uh, to calling the your your services and you have the data like you get the data or you build your JSON files or you call the directly these files these services and then get these geojson uh, files and then build your web application what I did just like very initial stage those who are very beginners uh, we generate the geojson files and then uh, we just simply copy the geojson files into the your into the your your how can say into the your notepad so if you save uh, notepad files if you see that they're a very beginning stage so i i can put it like var uh, zero zero server zero server two files the recorded files and then and then end of the day i export it, it is a geojson files so what i need you can directly call the geojson file also or you can directly save as a as a javascript files that's i mean so this that let's let's clear so we store these files very fast let's go our javascript uh, uh, javascript here now js so let's say we have uh, all format that's the previously that's we have it so all the geo javascript files so let's say it has uh, is geo server geo server uh, export uh, to and then we can say it is javascript file because we define the the var variables as a geo server two files export to and we can say js so it's store or it's, it's, it's already defined exactly you see the what type of information it has a feature collections it has total features it has a features and it has a features type a type of features and features has an id and it has a geometry exactly the same and then geometry is the polygon geometry it has coordinates and let's say coordinate finish here so let's go here it has a properties and then properties you see that the many properties has a poly, uh, uh, plot id and plot name uh, it's, it's exactly the same thing and it has the features and again the id and then geometry and the geometry type and then coordinates and it has coordinates points geometry and it's a properties and the, the geometry type from the database from the port gi database that those who have no experience just studying google it and get it properly what mean so properties has a polarity plot names and this is the information for the coordinate systems and so on so forth so this is the files you store or you define and this the data the geospatial data store into these variables into the geo uh, these javascript files so i will store it the javascript files and let's say we build another again the again the geojson files so exactly the same we store these files as the geojson files uh, we can we can do what uh, all geojson file is the, this is you see you have i already exported some geojson files so let's say uh, geo server as you saw bar uh, export to export to sorry export to as a geojson so you store these files as a geojson format so when you need to call the geojson file into the geo server into the your web page you can do also this way or well, what i did I, I i tried to give it to you the, the all possibilities how can you do the all possibilities means how can you directly call the geojson file this is the like the very very beginner level lead 
the simply geojson file call to the web page and build the application but i try to do like really professional way how can you do in the professional way what we did in the professional professional day every day day to day life that's what i mean so exactly the same structure that's that the containing the information in a different way as a, you can store this information as a javascript as a java js files or you can store information as as a geojson files so i cover already this this geojson files store in as a, a geojson file and call this geojson file in my previous screencast number 37 and but this is the screencast i am just continue i am trying to give it to you how can you generate this geojson file and from this geojson file how can you uh, set your javascript files javascript file and call this javascript uh, data into the your, your web pages that's the intention so that means you have a geojson file you build the geojson store the geojson there is possibility to call the geojson into the your web page or you just save this geojson file as javascript file and then call the javascript file to build the your maps this is both possibility yeah, i uh, i try to give it to you today i try to give it to you only the how can you take the geojson file from different sources i already did the source from the geo server and, and and then i try to store this data as as a, as a javascript files so as you see that as, as i i put it here the bar very beginning of the information that i have and then i define the variable names and this is the variable and i try to call into my html page that's what i mean so if i go to this page these variables i will go to the my html page here locate located and then then if you if you go to the my map load you see there is a you can you see the lot of poets and plots road network plan developments geo server and then so on so forth so you can put it like that so geo server 2 so that means you store your information as a file systems uh, as a as a file systems uh, from the file uh, uh, file in the file systems uh, javascript file systems and then you 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 have the javascript files and then you add this file into the your map map loading so i i will talk a little bit later this part so i mean you collect all the your files or data javascript files and then add into the l dot geojson uh, map lay add to the layers and build and add to the maps and then then and that's all it's automatically works that's i said it is really divided and flexible way to handle those things i will come back to here again so that means we produce our geojson data from geo server and define and store it at a geojson format and also store this same data as as a, as a javascript files and then we define these files in here as like you can just be define bar and geo server 2 and that's why i said those who have no experience with javascript that's why i said you can just follow the screencast number 45 the very beginners javascript and javascript framework like uh, screencast you can get it from there so let's have a create another 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 javascript uh, json file from 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 so this is the from geo server from geo json io so if i uh, if i clear it again so it's it's gone so so this is the information how can i delete this layer cancel delete so let's let's put it other way uh, and let's look, look a little bit deeper deeper here so you have a some recorded files in here and then we we try to act of course you need some some logging and this is the you need some if you try to use or to export to save uh, your your recorded data and then you can share it you can new and then this is the really good tools and good way to handle these things this is the geojson to build or you can you can say it's online digitizer it store all the information that's need when you track it you see that every feature that you have it you can you can you can click it you can do it but how can i delete uh, the features 
yeah, how can I delete? 